Yeah. Fun times, fun times. Here we are in the archives. Rare books. Ooh, page. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. The British Museum. Yeah. <coughs> Indeed. Damn. I'm, I'm, you can't see his face, but I bet Daniel has some rockin' mutton chops. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, he is German. No, he's English. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you couldn't tell him. Speaks with an accent. <laughs> he has an accent. He must be German. <laughs> Alright, this is the... What room is this? This is catalogs. Oh, catalog room. Trying to use that oil sparingly. Just set that there. Ooh, tinderbox. I say you could use your uh, bunches of tinderboxes sparingly. Nothing interesting in here, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. There's a letter. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services to at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Do you want me to uh, look up the Order of the Black Eagle? No, I'm sure we'll learn about it in the game. Good point. Oh, did I mention you could lean? Because you can lean. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the trailer. This is actually a nicely lit little spot. I wish you could open the window and jump out. <laughs> and leave it all behind? Nah, who would do that? Who would keep spare shirts in a library? <laughs> ah, another note. Who wouldn't? It's a party library. Gotta have them spare shirt. Ooh, tinderbox. Okay. So, oh, have you ever played Fable 3? My hands <sighs> tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. 
At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay, he was trapped. <coughs> That's all. Oh, it's a piece of his diary page. Are, are those footsteps? No, it sounds more like birds. Oh, what do you know? Libra Viteris, old tongues. What the? God. Stop with the crack, Daniel. It's not good for you. Do you hear that? Um, no. I heard a little bit. There's a piano playing, or there was. That's not creepy at all. Maybe there's a ball going on. Maybe we could join. Because you're Prince Charming, right? Damn right. <laughs> no tinder boxes. Let's see. Local history. Oh, that might be useful. And yet another door that's locked. Seems like they're trying to hide things from you. It's a nice hall. Here's the piano. Whoa! Yeah, looks like yeah, whoa. Looks like it may be a feasting hall. Bitch. <laughs> What's well, a running room in here? What was that? What was that? Maybe for reason. I see nothing. <laughs> right before the beast snaps you. That's not worrying. blood, isn't it? Yes, and it's dripping from the ceiling. Maybe it was the uh, screams of the girl we heard earlier. That is a possibility. Okay, let's see here. Let's light this candle. Check these drawers. There's a map or something. More map thingies. More map thingies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the what hell? What just happened? Oh, I bet class behind us. Yeah. <laughs> great. That's uh. great. <sighs> well, we got this well, thing. Well, we there's a map of the thing. kingdom of Prussia. Yeah, I saw that. Let's look at that. Bulrustia. Oh, I had to refill the oil manually. <laughs> huh. That would have been nice to know. That took quite a bit of oil. I know the paper's sitting there staring at us, but I want to make it sure I get everything. Tinderbox. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, Daniel, Daniel. Come on, Daniel. No, no, uh. 17th of May, 1839. Oh. After pounding.
pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I uh -huh. fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. You mean like you just did? That's when I saw <laughs> a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was weird waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Disco ball. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of me. Spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. The piano's playing again. <sighs> I hear it. Well, so suddenly I'm she getting she Lovecraftian overtones to this. <laughs> <laughs> Floor plans. Oh, this will be useful, right? I hope, maybe. Ooh, treasure chest. Probably not. Stop playing, you stupid piano. I swear to God, I'll set you on fire. I've got plenty of tinder boxes. Just douse it with oil, Jim. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, well. Moving on. Do you know who the, uh... Old man is in the background. I'm assuming that the old fellow talking is Alexander Brennenberg. It might not be. Stop that. Uh, Stop idea. That. Take whatever that is and smash it against that uh, fragile thing. Not working. <laughs> Nope, that worked. <laughs> you have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. What was that? I have no idea. It's still locked. Okay, um... There's a page here. I don't know how to get it. Maybe if I, you know, take a book and... Yeah! Vandalism. <laughs> 